What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up or configure Visual Studio Code for C and C++ programming so that you can start coding with C or C++ programming in Visual Studio Code. For this, you need to install two things. The first one is MinGW Compiler and the second one is Visual Studio Code. Now, assuming that you have installed Visual Studio Code, let's begin by installing MinGW Compiler. So MinGW basically is the most popular and the best compiler for C and C++ programming in Windows. So let's get to the point and install the compiler. Therefore, open your browser and type in MinGW and hit enter. Here click the first link from sourceforge.net. Click on download and wait for a couple of minutes. Once it finished downloading, here click on open folder. This is my MinGW setup file. So double click on the setup to install. This opens up the installer window. So click on install. This is the default directory, so I would keep it as it is and click continue. Wait for some time until uh, it finished downloading important features. Now my download is complete. So click on continue. This opens up the MinGW installation manager. So in the MinGW installation manager, there are different packages that are going to be added. So here, right click on the first package and click on mark for installation and do it for all packages so that they will be included in your MinGW. After selecting all the packages, go to installations and click on apply changes. Now click on apply. Wait for a couple of minutes to get it installed. Now our download manager completed downloading and extracting all the important packages to the MinGW. So click on close. Now let's add the path of the MinGW compiler so that our system actually knows the compiler. So go to your C drive and here you can see the MinGW. Click on it. In the MinGW, click on bin and copy the path by right clicking here. It's important as it helps us to compile our code from anywhere in our system. Now go to the taskbar and search for environment variables. So type in environment variables and click on this environment variables option. This opens up the environment variables window. Click on environment variables. So click on pass, then edit. Here simply click on new and paste the path that we copied. Click on OK. Again OK. Now we finished installing our MinGW compiler for C and C++ programming. So let's see if our MinGW compiler is correctly installed. So go to the search bar and type in cmd to open the command prompt. And on the command prompt window, type in gcc space dash dash version and hit enter. Here you can see that our compiler is correctly installed. Once we finished installing MinGW compiler, let's directly dive into setting up VS Code for C and C++ programming. So open up the Visual Studio Code by typing in Visual Studio Code at your search bar or the Visual Studio Code shortcut. This opens up the Visual Studio Code welcome screen. Now on the left hand side, go to extensions and click on it. Here in the search bar, type in C, C++ and click on the C, C++ extension published by Microsoft. Click on install. This extension provides the language support for C and C++ to Visual Studio Code. Wait for the extension to finish installing. Once it's finished installing this extension, once again go to the search bar and type in Code Runner to install one more important extension. This extension will help you to run C and C++ programs uh, easily by just clicking on a single button. Now go to Code Runner and click on Install. Now this extension is installed successfully. Next, restart the Visual Studio Code. So close it and open it up again. Now let's set up the workspace by adding a folder. So go to File and click on Add Folder to Workspace. You can create a folder anywhere in your PC and add it to the workspace. I'm gonna put it in my desktop. Create a new folder here and name it C and CPP files. Now select the folder and add it. Here you can see the folder we have created. 
You can also save the workspace with a name of your choice. For that, go to File and click on Save Workspace As. And it opens up a window where you can name your workspace. So I'm gonna save it in my desktop with a name, let's say C, C++ Programming and click on save. Now you can see that we have the workspace which contains the folder we have already created. Now let's create a file inside the folder. So select this folder and click on this new file button. Name the file with, let's say, hello.c. So the file hello.c is opened here. Now let's create a, a simple hello world program. If you are new to C programming and curious about how we have uh, uh, written this program, you can watch my uh, video tutorials on C programming. But for now, let's focus on how we can run C programs in Visual Studio Code. So to run this program, you have a couple of options to use. The first option is that you can go to the uh, top right corner and click on uh, this run code icon. The second option is you can use keyboard shortcut, that is press Ctrl, Alt, N, and it will run the program. Or the third option is that you can right click here and click on run code. Now you can see here in the output tab that the output is uh, displayed which is hello world. Alright so we are now able to run a, a simple C program that simply displays an output. But what if you write a program that needs a user input? In this case you can enter an input from this output tab because this output tab is read only. So let's test it by writing a program that demands a user input. Now run this program and you can see that it doesn't display uh, anything in the output tab. As the output tab is read only. So the solution is uh, stop this program by pressing alt Control n on your keyboard and configure the settings. Therefore go to file and go all the way down to uh, preferences. Then select settings and click on extensions. Now go all the way down to run code configuration and click on it. Then scroll down to uh, run in terminal and check it. Save it by pressing uh, Ctrl plus S on your keyboard and close the settings. Now come back to the code and run it. If the code runs uh, and it says enter number, let's say 78, and it says the number is 78. So you are now all set to run any C or C++ programs uh, on Visual Studio Code. Thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video, uh, show me by liking, sharing and subscribing.